All right, so for this one, um, and I wanted to go over this, I wanted to explain this problem here because this gets into making the variable positive. So we apply the distributive property, and when doing that, I get 5n plus 34 equals negative 2 plus 14n. Now remember, guys, we have to solve for a variable. We could solve for the variable on the left side. We could solve for the variable on the right side. In my opinion, I like to solve for the variable when it is positive. right? I just like having the variable being positive. I don't care if the variable is on the left or the right. I just want it to be positive. So you can see I have 5n over here, and I have 14n over here. So what I'm going to do is, rather than subtracting a 4n to get rid of the 14n over here, I'm going to subtract a 5n off both sides. That's going to eliminate the variable on the left side and then leave me with a positive variable on the right side. Does everybody see that? If you subtracted 14n, that would eliminate the, four, that would eliminate the n on the right side, but that would leave you with a, a negative, um, uh, negative, what? negative 9n on the left side. Did I say 7 again? I don't know. So let's subtract 5n. And again, it doesn't mean it's wrong. If you subtracted 14n, you're not wrong by any means. It's just through practice, this is what I like to do. So therefore, we have 34 equals negative 2 um, plus 9n. All right. Now, um, <clears throat> now basically what we're doing, just for a little bit of time purposes and for work, uh, you would add the 2 on both sides which would give you 36 equals 9n. Then you divide by uh, 9 on both sides. 36 divided by 9 is going to equal 4. four. So therefore, we'd say n is equal to 4. And that's it. Done. Congrats. Labels. Awesome.